I was actually talking to somebody on whatnot and we might be doing a pretty big trade. If it happens, you know, I will tell you what the trade is. Uh, they are obviously a whatnot streamer, so they can pay very close to comps. And uh, we might say goodbye to this entire binder. But it's okay. I have another binder in the vault that is even nicer than this binder. And we probably will show off that binder in the future as well. So back to my point about like being a serious collector and why, like how, how do you accumulate a collection like this, right? Where it's Power 9, it's Dual Lands, it's, you know, EDH cards are really good, like Candelera, right? That's a really great EDH card. Uh, it's a Black Lotus, right? I think Black Lotus is the next page. Got to go to the actual binder. Yeah, Black Lotus. It's a Mox, Mox Jet. You need a store. Uh, what occurred to me when I was collecting was, and I talked to a bunch of vendors at GP Houston, like how do they have these large, if, if you go to like any reputable store, they have tons and tons of magic, tons and tons of Pokemon, right? Cause they're a vendor. So if you go to most vendors at the time, so this was back in 2015, 2014, 2013, sometime around there, these vendors have these massive collections of Power 9 and, and so on. And I asked them, you know, how can I accumulate this much of this stuff, right? Like, does someone just buy it all at once and stuff? And you need a store because you need people to come to you and then you can buy list them. And then for me, I buy list and I give them 10%, which I think is, it's not just fair, it's above the market, right? It's literally above any buy list because the 10% store credit on top of paying you cash for the buy list. It's not trade. And once I had a store, all these collections started flooding in and they were good collections. I had to learn like, you know, to turn down people, which was initially very hard with their shitty collections. Cause at one point in time I had 16 gold span dragons and I knew that card sucked. Not that it sucked. I just knew the card was like $50 at the time and it was going to drop to like 15 very soon after rotation. So I was like, mm, should I really be buying these gold span dragons? I don't think this is a beautiful card anyway the factory. So one of the things I can tell you is if you really want to seriously invest in magic, I don't know if you can do so just buying at retail or your retail slight, you know, you might be a big whale. So they give you a slight discount. That's what I was doing at the time, but it was just so hard because even supply, like how do you accumulate 400 dual lands? The answer is you cannot, you have to open the store and then people have to come in with their play sets and one by one, you buy the play sets. That's, the only logical way people there are a lot of people who don't sell on facebook they don't sell on ebay they don't sell they're just trying to find a physical store to go to to ask them hey you know what will you give me for this i saw it online car kingdom for this right so uh, my collection is just you know people make fun of me oh your store failed and not really it achieved the Object, I was never about, and I've been very upfront, I was never about having community of players and so on to play standard or draft. I did meet some really great people who I still keep in touch with. I actually have dinner with one of them this weekend or have scheduled for dinner one of them at the, we're doing a phone call tonight about it where we want to eat. And it is, you know, it's never been about, you know, let's build a community, let's sell some standard packs. It's about getting the dual lands getting the power nine, getting the Campbellera, getting, getting the collection of my dreams, right? Now for tax purposes, you know, it's a lot of accounting. So it's better to let their CPA do it. Um, when it comes to closing down the business, you have to pay a lot of taxes on it. But in, in reality, you know, a business that doesn't make money that has inventory supposedly made of money, right? And that will reopen again. It's kind of an interesting place to be really. So like, I remember getting my first dual land. It was a Tundra. It was a heavy play Tundra. And it was just really difficult negotiating with this guy to get the dual land. I did drive like two hours to meet. This was during law school. I did drive two hours to meet him. I really needed a Tundra for my EDH had just started. I remember EDH was really hot and uh, these dual lands were more expensive because of EDH. And I was like, okay, this guy's got one at a good price. Let me try to buy it from him. And now, you know, they just come in the flood. When you open a store, they just flood your store. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. Like I've had upwards of beta power come in my store and come and go my store. 
and it's always been you know a friend collab so my friend owns a bunch of strip malls so he wants in on the feasting right so we got a distributor we buy like a lot of celebrate i have a shit ton of celebrations i probably have a quarter million dollars in celebrations we unless we open it we just don't sell it to the customers we are actually like this is a very interesting business model because it can essentially as long as you still have the business which i do it just sits there as an asset until you can sell it and then you get taxed like oblivion on it right but it's kind of until the um store dissolves and it, that's why the store is very interesting because like it's never actually stopped the llc for it has never ever stopped we pay fi uh, franchise ta taxes on it every year and the only thing that's kind of changed is has gone online we did try to do live streaming didn't really work then we go back to a physical store. Then we go went to the mall. You know, the location has changed, yes, but the actual idea of it has not. And it's been pretty, pretty good to us. You know, I'm not going to lie. It's like the collection you're seeing here is one tenth of the collection um, that has come in. And you'd be like, oh, why is your collection not big? It is bigger. I just can't show it to you because there's like so much stuff. Like Survival of the Fittest, I have 18 copies of that card. Through operating a store for 10 plus or seven, eight plus years, just like the best cards come into the store just randomly. And these people don't watch YouTube. They don't watch TikTok. They, they just have collections. They know what it's worth because they have looked at eBay or TCG player. They've Googled it, right? Everyone. And that's why like a lot of these flea market pickup videos that people make on YouTube, I think it's completely bogus. Trust me, even the dude in the flea market, he's... He's got time. He's checked up his dual lands. He's no, he know what they are, guys. If anything, you know, he's going to overcharge you, not undercharge. It's very hilarious to me. Like you watch all these YouTube videos where they're like, oh, I got this amazing deal at the flea market. And it's like, like, no, that's not, you know, I have gone to, in Texas, we have massive flea markets in Texas. And I've gone to them and they all know Mystic or Mora in the comments. They know, oh, that, that, that's a, you know, five, six dollar card. You, you pay me for that one. They know because they've been had before, right? And they're not going to be had anymore. So yeah, this is kind of uh, underground sea. I, I think I show this page the most, so maybe give a little bit more love to the Badlands and so on. Yeah, store still going. It just doesn't have a physical location right now. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm tied up. I can't run it. Um, the girlfriend is what is these? Like thirty free weeks. We have. Uh, a month we have all of july we have one week of june and then one week of august so see seven months from 40 so 43 33 weeks uh and my other friend he is in uh, a different country doing business so he can't run it uh and then our other two friends they have always been kind of minimal minimal you know they've uh minimal interaction right so they're kind of like these non they're shareholder shareholders but they're non-voting shareholders if you will Anyway, uh, let, yeah, let's show up. I never ever get to the last page because I always stop. I think at this page because I think that page is really beautiful. But the next page is volcanic, and the last page is more plateaus.